And then what's going to be over here, I guess, next? Welcome back to a, another Banish video. I'm Relaxing FG, and there was a sneak peek of that mine area that will be completed um, eventually. <laughs> uh, like I said, I like to take my time when placing down things. Um, and I just placed on some crops because I am feeling the need to have an abundance of food. I just placed down those houses, and now that they're built and filled, they're going to start reproducing, and they're going to need more food. They're going to start consuming more. So I've got uh, time now to build this main road. Um, if I'm putting down a stone road, it means I'm really confident in where that road is. It's not just like a placeholder. So now that I have that main road in place, I do think more about fishing. Fishing is a really great way to get food. A lot of food without taking up a huge amount of land. You have to have a river for merchants to come through. So I'm going to build on this river and lake area. And I'm going to take a lot of time, just like the mine area with the mountain, I'm going to take a lot of time and think about how I'm going to cut up that lake and place my fishing spots. I do know where my mark, uh, my not my market, I have the market already. Where I'm going to put my shipyard, the traders. <laughs> um, so I place those traders and I go ahead and put down another blacksmith and another spot for houses. Now that I have all of the materials for these mines in place, I don't need them built yet. So I'm just going to leave them on pause and I'm going to start thinking about my placement for the school. I'm going to need quite a few schools by the end of this playthrough. Each school can teach up to 20 students at a time. And with a big population, you're going to have a lot of students. Please. Please. <sighs> Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Till next time, keep relaxing.